Hey guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make your Blue Yeti sound better. So I'm first going to go over the basics of the microphone. And then later on I'm going to show you two softwares that will actually make your voice better. And this also make the Blue Yeti microphone sound more professional. But first guys, if you want, you can go down on this video in the comment section and click on the first comment that I pinned. This will bring you to my Fiverr and here you can get a YouTube logo and banner or a modern minimalist YouTube logo and banner for your YouTube channel. But now back to the video. Now to start off, the Blue Yeti is a pretty good microphone but needs to be set up the right way and so also have some help from those software. But first, as you can see, if you have the Blue Yeti right here, a very simple but important detail to keep in mind is that you always need to talk in front of the microphone, not on top. In the case of a lot of microphones, you'll talk on the top, but not with the Blue Yeti. Make sure you talk directly in front of the microphone. Very important. Now here in the front, of course, we have our mute button. So just make sure that it's always on. That means that it's not muted. And if the light is flickering, that actually means it's muted. So obviously make sure that it's not flickering. The light should be on at all times. Now actually going to the back here, the upper one, the gain, should be quite low actually. Pretty much all the way down. Because the Blue Yeti microphone picks up a lot of sound pretty strongly. So that's also why this microphone is used a lot in ASMR videos for example. But of course in most cases do make sure that the gain is pretty much all the way down. But then later on, as I said in the software, so we're going to actually boost the volume rather. So the output to make it sound better. Now underneath there, you want it to be on the third symbol there. It's the heart symbol. This basically means it's cardioid. Because the cardioid is the only one where the sound really goes in front. So as I said. So that way it also just picks up the sound that comes from the front. Make sure as I said it's on this symbol. This is a general tip, but make sure you are approximately two fingers away from the microphone. You can do this by putting two fingers front to back, or you can use like the pinky to the thumb technique. This will actually also allow you to get a good distance from the microphone. But essentially you don't want to be too close because you'll get boominess. And you also don't want to be too far away because you'll hear the room way too much. And that doesn't sound good. So as I said, you want to be generally between like one and a half to let's say two fingers away. And so a technique that I like to use is I actually put half of my headset on one ear and the other ear is exposed. So with one ear I hear my voice in real life and with the other ear I hear it in the headset. So that way I can actually know when my voice in real life sounds approximately the same as the voice that I'm recording. You know, so in the headset, when I'm hearing in the headset. So so that's a little technique that I like to use, but it comes back to that like one and a half finger to two fingers away from the microphone. And specifically also, this is important, if you have a pop filter, make sure that there's one finger between the pop filter and the microphone. So it should be your mouth, one finger, pop filter, one finger, microphone. Don't stick the pop filter to the microphone. That's also an error a lot of people do. Don't stick it to the microphone. Keep at least like a finger distance from the microphone and the pop filter. And then of course talking about the pop filter itself. This is always something I advise you to use with any microphone. But here in the Blue Yeti specifically, we obviously also just want to get those plosives out. Those sounds which can be really annoying in your recordings so that's really what's going to help remove those and pop filters really don't cost anything they're really cheap you can easily find one under 20 dollars i also have a foam on top of my blue yeti microphone as you might have seen now this is very optional i just like it because it makes your voice slightly warmer this is just a personal preference that i have you really don't have to do that it's a small detail but i personally really like it as i said it makes my voice a bit warmer and so that's why i have a foam on it but then here actually i also have a bonus i actually have a boom arm that i've used here for a while it actually holds my blue yeti up so i don't set it on a table where there can be like reverberations and actually get through the recordings. So I like that the fact that I have a boom arm that it's up in the air. Sure, I can still accidentally hit the boom arm. But it's, it's still a setup that I prefer way more. I can also put it wherever I want in front of me. I think it's just very useful. If you want, by the way, a specific review about this boom arm, I actually have a video right here up in the corner. Okay, so now that I've said everything really important to note about the microphone itself, I'm actually going to jump into the first software, which is voice meter. Now I've used voice meter quite often. It's a nice software to actually make your voice better with any microphone as I said earlier. And so it's actually pretty simple to use. So I'm going to jump right in. What you basically want to do this here is going to be your microphone. Well, I renamed it to microphone. It's your first input basically, but I renamed it to microphone by right clicking and then I can change the name, but that's just a little detail. So basically what you want to do then is actually go here. I'm going to go to a WDM. So make sure it's a WDM in this case. I'm going to select the Blue Yeti microphone here. But I'm going to immediately go to the output right here, which is going to be A1. In this case, you want it to be a MME and it's gonna be the cable input VB audio. Now in case you don't have voice meter yet I actually have a tutorial on how to download and install voice meter up here in the right corner because for that download you actually also need the cable input to download and I explain all of that in that video so be sure to check that out if you're interested in this software but for now let us just continue here. These two are actually not gonna use so we're gonna mute both of them so I'm gonna click the M right here in both cases. And these ones, just make sure that they're on both on stereo repeat. There we go. Now, in case you actually want to hear yourself, make sure you go back here 
to A1 in this case, as I said, the ones we're using, and you click on the speakers right here, this one, the speakers, then you actually hear yourself, if you're having a headset or just speakers on your desktop, you basically hear yourself speak by selecting this option. Now right here, you won't be able to hear it because I'm not actually using voice meter for my voice right here. Here you have the lows, so it's going to make your voice very low. It's going to make your voice pretty high. And up here, it's more of an effect, but on your voice, it really doesn't sound well. It's like a lower echo and a higher echo. It's, it's some effects, but on a voice, it doesn't really work well. You could use it with other sounds. You can test it out, but really with the voice, I wouldn't advise you at all to go up here. So just stay like down here. I in the past have placed it like around here to have a little bit bass in my voice because I like to have a little bit of it in my voice. Not too much, obviously. So I like to put it in here and then around here in the past, I think I've placed it. Maybe you can put it in the middle, but I would put a bit more to the lows because if you go to the highs, it will get too thin, you know? So you can, of course, put in some highs, but don't do it too much because you get a very thin voice. And in the lows, it will get way too low, obviously, if you overdo that as well. And then I'm just going to double click here to reset. Here, you can actually play with the volume. So it's going to make it quieter and it's going to make it louder. Obviously, as you can see in red, it's going to make it pretty loud. And I wouldn't go like over 3 dB. Like over 3 dB, it's going to get very loud and it will actually go way over. But then if you actually want to use it in other software, this is actually what a lot of people struggle with. Make sure that down here, if you go to volume source, first of all, you want to make sure that it's actually on cable input VB audio virtual cable. So make sure that this one is your output. Put, so you actually hear yourself if you do that. Now here in Discord, you actually want to go down in the left corner next to your profile and select the user settings. As you can see here, here we have all of our settings and we're basically going to go down here to voice and audio right here. And so this is important for any software that you use, but because Discord is used so much, I'm actually going to show you for Discord. So you want to make sure that your input can be your microphone and then just make sure that your output, very important, is going to be the cable input virtual audio cable because that will immediately link it, as you can see right here, to our voice meter, obviously. And that's what you want and so it works the same with zoom or any other really communication software where you talk to other people using your microphone you can actually use this but just make sure that especially as an output device as cable input now if it isn't working this could actually be cases that it doesn't work you also have some other voice meter options here and you can just try them out if you want to see which one works out but generally speaking you could just put this microphone and this on your output but in case that doesn't work just try the other voice meters as i said right here this one or this one for example and now you don't have to click save here on discord so you can just do escape here now less software might might actually surprise you because it's OBS itself actually the one that I'm recording with right now and it's also something I discovered much later myself is that actually OBS has built-in microphone filters, if you want to call it that. At least they call it like that. As you can see, you can simply do that by first making sure that there's a microphone here. So I'm just going to quickly show you in settings. If you go here, make sure that an audio right here, desktop audio, you can do that for speakers. So that's everything that's desktop audio, basically, like Spotify, YouTube, or where any window sounds, basically. But then for the microphone, of course, in this case, we're going to go for the Blue Yeti. That's everything really you need to know here. Then also make sure that the channels are in stereo, and then it's 48 kilohertz as well. That's very important. And then here in output as well, if you go to the audio tab, make sure that however many tracks you use, make sure it's on 320. I definitely advise you to have it on that quality. And then, of course, click apply, and then click OK. But so as I said, as you can see, I have these two sources here, as I said earlier, the desktop audio and the microphone and basically if you go to these three dots right here and i'm actually first going to go to advanced audio properties so i want to show you that very quick as you can see i give a little bit of a volume boost right here because as i said earlier the gain on the blue yeti microphone is pretty sensitive so you want to boost rather in the volume than in the gain because if you boost the gain too much specifically of the blue yeti here you're going to get too much sounds in the room that you don't want so any ventilators windows neighbors whatever you can here in the background it's also going to boost that so that's why you're going to keep the gain very low in this case and actually boost it rather in the volume so the output of the audio as you can see i did a little 2.7 db boost here but as you'll see afterwards in the filters i also still did another little boost but in any case as you can see here i have the two channels here you can actually make sure that it's the right one is selected as i said the first one is my desktop the second one is my blue yeti microphone now here you can actually also make sure to hear yourself you can actually do monitor and output and in that case you actually hear yourself talk if that's something you want but now i'm actually just going to close this because this was very briefly what i wanted to tell you the most important thing here is going to be if i go back to the three dots here it's going to be filters I'm going to click that. As you can see, I have my filters active right here. And that's also the way you hear my voice right now is actually the Blue Yeti microphone with these filters on it within OBS. So keep that in mind. Now, basically, if you don't know a lot about this, because this can get a bit specific for people who don't know, who don't know a lot about, I guess, the technical side of audio in general. Basically, the first thing I have here, as I talked earlier, is a gain boost. So basically, it's a boost in gain in this case. And that is something that I've actually done here to 350. 
dB. And that isn't that loud because the gain of our Blue Yeti is so low. It isn't actually that loud. So it actually works well. And I did make sure that I didn't put it too high as well, of course. This is all some things I tested. And I'm actually happy with the sound I have. Now, obviously, it's going to be different for you. And you can actually put it to whatever you want. You don't have to copy what I do. But then basically what you can do, and I'm going to show you how to do that, is actually do a little plus here. And you can actually choose with the integrated options they have. But you can also have plugins. So if you already have plugins, if you have like, for example, a, a DAW, for example, or any audio software, you can actually have some plugins already. And you will be able to actually use some of them within OBS itself here, within the filters. But that is a bit more advanced as an option here. Don't worry, we are just going to focus on the integrated options here. So once you have done your gain, what something you can actually add is a noise suppression. That is really in a case where you have a lot of just maybe traffic outside, any fans, any 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 sound really on the background. But it's going to be pretty fragile because sometimes if it keeps cutting off your voice, it's not good. That's the same if you, could, for example, go to the second option you can do. If noise gate where you can actually do a threshold and a certain attack time. So this is already a bit more specific, but once again, don't do this too much. It will sound very cut off. So really just try first of all to really minimize the sounds in your room and around your room after voice and if there are sounds that you really cannot remove from your recording, sounds that you really cannot mute or bring down in your environment, you can use noise gate, I would advise you, but don't do it too much. But I actually have a video up here in the right corner that talks way more in detail about all of these filters, because now I'm going to go briefly over them, but the review that's up here in the right corner is way more in detail on really how to get these settings, all of them. And so if that's something you want, you can always check that out. Whereas I said, I explained further and in more detail how you really work all of the filters one by one. The next step will be to have an equalizer, so an EQ. Now these also come down to preference to a certain part, but you generally want to make sure that there's a bit of highs in there in the EQ, so basically means that it's higher in the voice don't go too much obviously i did like three and a half which is good above six seven db i thought it was already getting way too high too thin then here in the mids i cut a bit of it because it also sounds pretty nice it sounds a bit more it also sounds pretty nice and I always make sure that i have like a small boost in the lows also something i've talked about before but i don't want to overdo this because if i bring it all the way up to here you're just gonna have way too much lows and that's just not gonna sound good it's gonna have too much boominess it's gonna sound very muffled very closed up so you just want to do a little low boost if you want to actually boost the lows a bit because this also once again comes down to a preference you maybe want to have like kind of a different sound than i have you want a bit less lows you know a bit more highs you can actually change that but don't overdo it you know nobody wants to hear a very thin microphone sound or a very low one now the expander and the compressor are going to be very important on your voice these will actually make sure that you don't talk too quiet and don't talk too loud that will actually limit those sounds if you for example accidentally hit your desk or you scream all of a sudden for some reason these will actually make sure that you don't go way over in the recording and so that people who are actually watching the video or watching your live stream all of a sudden get shocked of a really loud sound but that once again isn't going to be in that video that i mentioned i will go over the limiter right here as you can see i put a threshold at like minus 3 db and then a release of 60 milliseconds this is actually quite important important in the way that it actually limits the sound to a certain threshold that really doesn't go over a certain amount which in my case as I said is minus 3 dB. It's a pretty important detail it's a small one but just keep that in mind so that you don't like go overboard basically limiting the sound to a certain point. But any case guys I try to mention as much there is to making your Blue Yeti sound more professional. If you have any questions leave them down below. Please leave a like would be really nice. Subscribe would also be really nice and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.